Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about number 71 in section 7.1. In this problem, we need to figure out whether the given sequence is monotone or not, and also find out the lower bound and upper bound if possible. Notice that the index of the sequence starts from one here. A key observation is the numbers in the sequence are always positive. So we can kind of figure out the lower bound, for example, zero. However, here, I would like to point out that it's best to start with the monotonicity, because if we can figure out some increasing and the decreasing behavior, it will probably help us to find out the maximum and the minimum value. As a byproduct, we can solve the boundaries question, okay? So first, we will focus on the monotonicity. Potentially, we could apply the difference test, the lifter test, and the ratio test. Look at the structures. This is already in the caution form. So it makes sense to utilize the caution test or the ratio test. Then we need to write down the definition of AK and AK plus one. Also, evaluate the ratio between them. Some algebra, notice that the K plus one factorial can be written as K plus one times K factorial. E to the K plus one power will be EK times E. From here, we can do some cancellation. K factorial and E to the K will be get rid of. Finally, this ratio becomes E divided by K plus one. Notice that the number E is approximate 2.718. We know for the quotient test, we would like to compare this ratio with the number one. Is it less than one or greater than one? Since this is a constant divided by K plus one, all right, then obviously this value will depend on the choice of k. Next, for example, compute the first few numbers. Whenever k equal to one, this ratio will be e over two. Whenever k equal to two, that will be e divided by three. All right, then we can see it will be greater than one for k equal to one, but less than one for k greater than two. Indeed, if we increase the value of k, then the denominator is always greater than the numerator. So we always have less than one. So it tells us that the AK plus one always less than or equal to AK. So this is true for all K greater or equal to two. This is not working for K equal to one, which we had already seen from here. Okay. Now this tells us that the sequence is actually decreasing, but this decreasing only true for k greater or equal to two. Now we would like to investigate what will happen between the two numbers, a1 and a2. Again, just plug in, compute a1 and a2 value, then we see the a1 is less than a2, right? After the second term, the sequence is decreasing, all right? So in terms of pictures, we have something like this is a1, this is a2, and then a3 starts to decrease. Now, if let's look at this pattern, Clearly, this is not going to be a monitor sequence globally, right? So we can say the AK is not decreasing, uh, it's not a monotone. However, we have some partial monotonicity. You can say this sequence stuff from K equal to two is actually decreasing. Indeed, we call this one to be the eventually monotonicity. More specifically, is eventually decreasing. This is some information that I would like you to uh, point out, okay? So this is for the monotonicity. The second would be the boundaries. Notice that the AK is always positive. So we can easily find out an all lower bound, zero. What about the upper bound? Now from part one, right, we already know the pattern of the numbers, right? A1 increase, to A2 and then start to decrease. 
So it tells us that the A2 is the maximum value of the sequence. Okay, so we just, so this maximum value, value was served as an upper bound for the sequence. Okay, so here we finish the analysis. All right, a quick recap. For this type of question, the first step is to ana analyze the monotonicity using either, using one of the three methods, difference, caution, and uh, derivative test. The second is to consider the, mon uh, the boundaries. Possibly we could utilize the monotonicity behavior, okay? Thanks for watching.